on this if you have sensitive skin and you want to get all I'm talking about every single tinch cinch and winch of your makeup off this is what you need to be using hey pixies welcome back to my channel it's me kia your favorite and i'm back with another video okay y'all so as you can see by the title of this video i have a huge sephora haul for you and i'm going to be showing you guys all new makeup products if you watch my vlog when my sister came to town this past week we went to sephora literally like five times because i was really doing like a whole makeup revamp to kind of achieve like this just natural glowy skin like look that I have today so if you like how my makeup looks today or if you're interested in see what I got because maybe there's like some stuff that you might have wanted or you've been looking at um, there will be timestamps in this video because my sister told me to do that um, so just keep watching okay right quick a disclaimer my makeup is not perfect because I have had it on all day literally probably since 8 o'clock in the morning and I think it's about to be uh, like five. I put on makeup every day for those of y'all who know and I literally wear my makeup all day so it's important that you know I have products and like a look that um, is not going to move or cause me too much fuss and so for you guys you know that 2022 I said my vibe is just very giving like less is more like maybe she's born with it like that effortless natural glowy type of vibe the reason why I did a whole makeup revamp is because I felt that I was using my old products to try to achieve this new look and I was using products that lend themselves well to more of a cake face look and we love a good cake face but just like for my everyday and like my go-to glam that I'm into now it's it's more of the skinny glowy kind of vibe without further ado let's get into the video we're gonna review some makeup yeah I just started using these products but I can kind of actually like speak to them because everything that's in this bag pretty much not everything but most of the stuff I am um, wearing today as you can see my makeup bag overfloweth and my makeup glow F okay calm down so starting off with skincare because that is very very important I have this Paula's Choice um, liquid exfoliant so it is a skin perfecting 2% BHA like for liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid and it says it's for all skin types and it's meant to unclog and shrinks in large pores I have big pores it says it smooths and evens the skin tone and lightweight liquid absorbing uh quickly so it absorbs quickly into the skin so this is like a toner so um i've been using this after i wash my face at night then i will put this on and then i will go ahead and moisturize now y'all know i previously said in the videos that i'm not much of a toner kind of girl um because it tends to be drying but i've been using this and it doesn't seem like it's drying my face but i do use like um super moisturizing like for dry skin and hydrating um, moisturizer the reason why I like this is because it is an exfoliant this is that but without those beads because you know that can be kind of harsh on the face some people have sensitive skin and so this does that but just in a liquid form so uh, this is really cool on the skincare tip so I was good on foundation because I just got the NARS light reflecting foundation um, I'll link it if y'all want to watch my video on that but just kind of like the accoutrements and go with I did need one of the main things that I needed was a like a contour so I needed something else for contour and I wanted to go for cream so here I have the Danessa Myricks Beauty um, Balm Contour um, so this is what it looks like and this is the color that I got so I am in the color medium three and so I feel like this is like the perfect contour shade for me because it's nice and chocolatey but at the same time when it goes on it just really melts into the skin so if I'm a little heavy-handed with it it won't be too harsh however um, it's 
it's dark enough to where it's like it's still doing something for me i love the formula of it and the finish of how it goes on my skin because contour can be a little bit intimidating and i know a lot of people think like oh like cream contour you know it's going to be like a dollop or a blob on my face but actually this diffuses out really well especially with the brush um that i got for it which i'm going to show you all so i would definitely recommend this danessa myrick she is a um black woman so she understands like the need for you know different tones and shades i would definitely recommend this contour for me um i like neutral tones because i am both like i can have some red undertones and some yellow undertones and like the neutral really works well for me but for my contour i like something that's cooler so this is giving me that like cool effect but it's not like too cool to the point where it looks like ashy or gray um my adjacent to this would kind of be like the truffle stick by fenty that's what i was using before but i just wanted something that was a little more creamy and this is her something i could apply with a brush because the fenty match stick it's nice but it has a little bit of like mm, not as a, a creaminess and smoothness and so the goal is for all the products to melt together so this will give you that for sure so next i got the famous charlotte tilbury bronzer and this is the color four deep fonts i don't know if this is their darkest shade i think it is but this is what it looks like and so after i put on that contour shade i put on this bronzer and as you guys can see this is a little bit like warmer so it pairs perfectly together even though this is still a very rich um color but yeah this bronzer is for sure next level and so you can see the difference like how this is like a little bit cooler but this one has like a slight warmth to it but they're still on that same kind of color family because i feel like this is like cool or neutral with a slight warmth as well so these pa pair very well together especially for my skin oh, sorry i hope it's okay we're at this like point of the day where the sun is going down and the lighting is kind of like weird and it's creating some shadows but anyways uh hopefully it's not too bad so next i go in with the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter um and this is what it looks like i am in the shade seven so it's called dark yeah dark matte m-a-t um so yeah this with this bronzer i don't even know what this is this is like a bronzing liquid like but it creates like gloweth so that's what this does so after i put my bronzer on contour bronzer and then i add this and it just adds this very goldeny kind of situation right here that just kind of like grabs the face and just pops it out and makes it cute um so yeah my sister put me on to this pretty much put me on all of this stuff because she has a sephora girl i love the vibe that this has that this creates um it just melts right into the face and that's what i want you guys to understand about the products that i'm showing you everything really works well together and the point is for it to look like natural and for it to melt and this gives that um and it just adds that little pop to your contour and your bronzing look and um yeah i just love this for sure for setting powder i got a laura mercier um oldie but goldie it is the mini and this is like their banana colored powder so this is the one that's yellow tinted honey so yeah this is what i've been using to set my face like my makeup has been a little shifty shaky rickety splickety this is just trusted and this goes with all you know foundation concealer whatever combinations that you use the makeup is not moving i've had this on like all day whereas before before the setting powder and stuff that i was using it was like shifting under the eyes sometimes um so this will cause that like not to be the case brief intermission because this is not from sephora it's from mac but i do have this mac skin finish a natural powder and i am in the shade dark and um this is just for me to set my entire face with so just like an all over face powder this is what the shade looks like that i use it's like 
ever so slightly you know lighter than my skin tone and what I do is I brush this all over my face and I brush it like underneath my eyes and all the areas that I set to dust that Laura Mercier powder away like this gives you just like this flawless blend together just mm, I just love the look that it creates because it just blends everything together and makes it one that you've put on your face so if you've ever wanted to try this or you're looking for like an all over face powder would definitely um recommend it and then also i got this lip pencil cork like need i say more cork is a classic i'm wearing it right now um this is a great nude lip color um and i will let you guys know what i have paired it with this is the satin lipstick from anastasia beverly hills and it is the color butterscotch that i'm wearing this is a very nice just light nude color that i was looking for but it's kind of cool if you guys can see that and like pick it up because yeah i was just kind of looking for a cooler true nude kind of color some of them can be like a little Little bit too yellow a little bit too honey looking and then some of them can be just like a little bit too pinky um which is not what i was going for um literally all weekend i was looking for this shade of nude so i could match it with the cork because i had a vision um and i think this lip combo is like really really cute it looks good and it's like the perfect um nude lip combo um to where you're getting that kind of light pop it out look but then it's not doing too much it just blends like really well with this overall presentation that i have with the makeup so next from Danessa Myricks I also have these color fix matte um minis and these are for your eyes your cheeks and your lips so I actually have on the color desert rose and I just take a little bit of it it's super super potent and then I just pat it on my cheeks to do like a cream blush and then I also do it on um, my eyes as well and if you use this on your eyes let me go get the um thing because I forgot it is the color this is the tube and what it looks like and so um yeah i've been using this as blush like putting it on the eyes it diffuses out like super super well um so i would 100 recommend this and like you literally only need a teach so i plan on having this for the rest of my for the rest of until infinity and beyond so this is what it looks like in the color chocolate as you can see it's like a nice chocolatey color but it has a slight red undertone this looks perfect like on the eyes like and if you just want to do a like glossy lid smoky you can also go back and set it with powder but this just really diffuses out super super well and you just pat 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 it on your eyes i actually might add a little bit of this color to my eyes um before i go on my date to just add like a little something extra and a little drama but like that's another thing too like this is a really nice you know everyday kind of look and you can just take it straight tonight by using something like this and it's really really good i would recommend these and they're super fun to like play around with and easy to use next i got brushes sorry i used them so if that's like offensive to you then i don't know like leave and never come back i have the brush 79 and the brush 59 56 so 56 is a foundation brush and so this is just good for just like that pat 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 and this is nice for like the skin finish blushes because the sponge can pick up a little bit too much of the product sometimes and it's already supposed to be a light coverage foundation so using the brush to kind of like spread it and tap it and make sure it stays in place super love this brush uh, for that and then like this brush right here you would think you might want to use more of a firmer brush um for your contour but actually my sister put me onto this brush as well and it's kind of fluffy so i use this brush in combination with this uh danessa myricks and then i like brush it onto my face and y'all let me tell you it has the most blendiest smoothest like just greatest i don't know blend babe 
these are a match made so for sure we'll recommend those two brushes again this one is for contour and then this one is great for especially a skin finish foundation also sometimes i don't want to wear lashes all the time even though lashes are a vibe but like today i put on makeup every day and i'm just like working from home and sometimes i just don't always want to like do the whole lash thing because then i gotta wait for the glue to dry and da, 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 and whatever whatever so this isn't also from sephora this is just from target but this is the mascara that i have on today and it's the voluminous original and this is the color darkest black and um yeah so if you need a mascara this one's really good like it gets all of the lashes and it does like the cute clumping you don't want your mascara to overly clump but you do want like some clumping so that it gives you that you know kind of it gives it some body like it makes your lashes slim thick for sure this is really good for um, bottom lashes I know everyone doesn't do that but if you are a bottom lash kind of girl and I am because my top lashes are somewhat bald headed but my bottom lashes are stealing the show so this is a good mascara for that look all right another lip product that i got my sister put me on to is this gloss shot this is the color that i have so it's just like a very milky creamy clear like pink kind of color and it's like super cute i think this is like cute by itself or the perfect like say this um this is a creamy lip that's what i forgot to say about the anastasia because sometimes the mattes can be a little bit too dry but sometimes i'm not always going for like a glossy lipstick because then i can just put on gloss like what am i getting the lipstick for but if you want to take your um lipstick look like this to gloss it out this would be like the perfect go-to for that because it gives you just like that super drippy wet glossy look for those of y'all that like that i like that this is in the color milk tea a vibe it's bomb for sure these next two items are kind of the star of the show because i always get compliments on my eyes so this whole journey kind of started like saying less is more but then what does that mean to me so people always compliment me on my eyes and like my cheekbones so i don't have to do much to get my you know cheeks to be where they need to be because they're already sitting they're there but when it comes to the eyes and accentuating them my literally my eyeliner was always running like Forrest Gump for its life just I don't understand like it would be down here it's in all of my videos the most annoyingest thing ever my sister told me to get this Stila waterproof liner it looks like this and so I got the one that has the double tip at the end so it has this fat daddy tip and then it has little mama the skinny at the end so that you can be like more precise now this is not as soft as i thought it was going to be so you do have to like press and use this i am learning how to use this i had to practice with it like i had a little meltdown this weekend when we were on our way to brunch because i i was using this for the first time and i wasn't used to using it especially the fat side um so I'm definitely practicing with it and I did a good job today. Do you guys think I did a good job? Calm down. As far as it staying in place though and not running and being a super, super dark liner, she's that girl. So I'm committed to learning how to use this. Like there is really no other option. Um, and I just started doing eyeliner like yesterday because I was never like an eyeliner type of girl because it can be kind of intimidating. But like now that I'm here, I want to do what the girls are doing. So if you want to be that girl with the eyeliner, it's giving the Stilla is the way to go next i have this makeup forever aqua resistant color pencil and it is um let me see it's in the color color ebony this i just use to like tight line you know my waterline and everything and just give that defined eye look and then i partner it with the um stila eyeliner and like it just pops the eyes out of the face and you know brings it brings the drama because everything else is a little bit more calm we're using more natural skin like products you can still see like my moles and if i have like any dark marks or some pimples you can still see it a little bit through my face because i'm not going for full coverage which is why like 
it's imperative that I have my skin together as well. Um, so that's um, something else that I'm working on too. Yeah, this girl does what she needs to do. She delivers. Love this pencil. It is so smooth, like super smooth. It's just like, like it's the easiest thing ever because I know tight lining can also be um, kind of intimidating and um, I don't know I was talking to my sister and this pencil is like approved by like the FDA or something like I don't know if it's really approved by the FDA but you're really not supposed to be using pencils to line your waterline because like but we're doing it anyways but whoever approves makeup whoever does it they approved this one i really don't know makeup forever and it's like whatever one of the only pencils that's on the list so yeah so last but not least on the skincare wave again i got the inky list oat cleansing balm and it's really big it comes um in this tube and like after you spend all this money on makeup and put it on your face every day it's time to take it off and you got to use this it comes out as like kind of a a paste like i would like describe it as kind of like watery toothpaste a little bit so also you want to make sure you shake this before you use it because it'll separate and um yeah if if you don't it'll just come out as like oil you can leave this on your face as well um so it says to gently massage a small amount onto dampened face neck and rinse thoroughly with water following with preferred serums moisturizer store in a cool dry place and then it says leave on for 10 minutes as a nourishing face mask now me i'm just using this to put on my face and like wipe it off like my makeup as a makeup remover however this is actually skincare as well so you can put this on your face as a face mask you can use this as a, a just cleansing balm and it helps remove makeup for sensitive skin because i noticed that i was using the neutrogena makeup wipes and those are like those in the morphe wipes are the best for getting makeup off for me that i have used but it was literally making my eyes like so dry because you know your eye skin is sensitive and i feel like the makeup wipes was just doing a little bit too much because i already have dry skin so this old cleansing balm um it just it works wonders so i would definitely recommend this if you have sensitive skin and you want to get all i'm talking about every single tinch cinch and winch of your makeup off this is what you need to be using when i had my little meltdown with my um eyeliner i just took a little bit of this and i just wiped off the tail and i like started over so this is like life saving as well you can use this in so many different ways i definitely definitely would recommend this product <sighs> wow y'all that was a lot hopefully I didn't miss anything. I'm probably sure there's one or two things in there that I forgot to grab that I missed. But as y'all can see, I got a lot of stuff from Sephora. It's definitely giving rouge, babe. Let me know if y'all want a video of me doing like a full face of all new makeup so y'all can just see the process of how this look goes together. Hopefully this helped you if you have like, you know, a similar skin type or a similar skin tone or complexion as me uh, so you can see the the type of products that I'm using and which ones might like work for you or if you just like this overall makeup look you know the brands that you can shop for to put that together because every vibe of makeup you cannot achieve that with certain products so I really had to do like a total revamp and and it was costly but it was definitely worth it like girl it was so worth it i am still practicing and perfecting my makeup look but i am really happy with it i think the colors and the blend and everything that i'm getting is a lot much better and like sometimes you just have to do it girl like sometimes this is a form of like investing in yourself so you can be that girl um and sometimes you just have to buy the makeup so you can achieve the look and like get what you want and what I realized is when you watch people do certain things, makeup videos, and you're trying to get your look to look like theirs, sometimes you can say, oh, I have this, so I'll do this. Oh, I, I have that, so I'll do that. But sometimes you can't get the same look unless you have those products that they have because the products that they're using are meant to achieve that particular look. Now that I have all of the stuff for the look that I want, I'm a lot 
more happy and yeah I just talked for a long time that was a lot of stuff and like I'm really excited about it and so I'm gonna just about to edit this video for you all so hopefully you enjoyed this video comment down below if this helped you yeah I talked so much that my memory card got full but um yeah thank y'all so much for tuning into this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow your girl kia on instagram at kia Carrie moo and i will catch you all in my next video bye